I don't know. What, what about you, Kristen? Are you get rid of the tree now or keep it till after the new year? Well, my tree is fake, so I'm keeping it. <laughs> But I, I actually, I never take it down till after New Year's. Yeah, me so neither. So maybe, maybe my days, the my days off the first week of January. It's probably going to be around the seventh, eighth, ninth, something like that. The pine needles though are really getting to me. I have a real tree, and there's pine needles everywhere. I, I know, and that's the day you have to keep it moist. But I know, well, and I know. And who wants to water it after Christmas? You know, the fun's gone. Just a few more days. Keep it till New Year's Eve. Till New Year's Eve. But if you have us, uh, maybe you're, you're one of those people that wants to take down the decorations right away or get rid of the tree. If you have anything that you want to do, maybe you want to just take a walk or a run outside or take the dog for a walk outdoors. The next few days, the temperature is going to be very mild and enjoy that because starting in the new year, we are going to have a sharp drop in temperatures right now. Temperature is 45 degrees. This is our high for the day. Now we started out this morning in the lower 30s, but nuts, not even the most interesting part. The interesting part is our temperature will continue to rise all the way through midnight as warm air starts to surge in from the southwest. So we're looking at temperatures that are even warmer to the south. Washington's at 52. Greensburg is at 50. Beaver Falls has made it up to 45. Morgantown, Columbus, Ohio, Cincinnati, Ohio, all down there into the upper 50s, even the lower to mid 60s. The temperature change, we've jumped anywhere from 10 to 15 degrees up over the past 24 hours from Washington down to the southwest. Dubois has not changed at all, but we're looking at that cooler air to get supplanted by some uh, warm, moist air over the next couple of hours. Warm air really filters in here through the evening. We're up to 50 by midnight, and then we start to cool down as a cold front arrives through tomorrow morning. We'll be down to the upper 30s. All of that is touching off, of course, some more rain. Showers around the area. We've even had a couple of rumbles of thunder, a few lightning strikes. Heaviest activity we're seeing is up over portions of Jefferson, Indiana counties. A little bit more activity just approaching the Wheeling area. That will be pushing through along I-70. And then you see the pink here. That's the last little bit of that freezing drizzle and that glaze of ice that they dealt with in the Laurel Highlands most of the day. One of Seven Springs uh, chairlifts actually was impacted by some icing. I saw earlier today on social media they had one inch of snow up into portions of Clarion and Venango counties before they had that freezing glaze in portions of the area on roadways. So there you see the heaviest rain activity now. It's going to be pretty quiet the rest of the night. Once we get this last little bit of moisture out of here by midnight, we dry out overnight tonight. Here's that warm front just kind of no Nosing itself into southwestern Pennsylvania, pushing these temperatures into the lower to mid 50s across much of the area by tonight. And the rain gets out of here, and here comes the cold front. We're down to the lower to mid 30s across much of the area to the north tomorrow, upper 30s from Pittsburgh south. Dry start to the day tomorrow, but here's 4 o'clock. Here comes another round of rain. We could see this start out as some slushy snow north along I-80 before it all becomes rain tomorrow night. And then Wednesday, we have one more round of showers before we finally get a little bit drier air on the way for New Year's Eve and New Year's Day. So your forecast for tonight, temperatures rising until midnight. We're down to the 30s by tomorrow morning, 46 the high tomorrow. I know it's kind of a roller coaster dry as we head through tomorrow morning, but tomorrow night we get rain, even a few snow showers north that ends as a few rain showers Wednesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, all in the mid to upper 50s dry New Year's Eve, a few rain showers New Year's Day and look at the cool down. Here comes January on Monday highs only in the 30s.